Hey everybody, Judah Hoover coming to you here from the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group. I uh, just walk in a commercial property again today, kind of a mixed use commercial and residential property. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Michael Manthai the other day and I said, hey Michael, you're having a lot of really good success uh, with commercial units, you know, mixed use properties that have that commercial space in them. How are you doing that? What are you doing that's different? And he said, really Judah, it's just, uh, I've been really lucky with it. It's just because I'm buying them at the right place and buying them in the right location. And I wanted to walk up this street because we're on Market Street in York and it's a really good idea to understand and know where are you buying your units. And as you can see, kind of from what we're doing here, I'm hoping you're seeing that there's a lot of these signs. If you're seeing active commercial units, then you're in great shape. Uh, if you're seeing a whole lot of vacant commercial units, uh, don't try to be Mikey. Don't try to be the one uh, that's gonna fix everything and change everything. We're, we're gonna walk a gorgeous four unit building. Uh, the owner wants to use one for commercial space, two for Airbnb, and he also wants to have just a, a regular long-term rental in one of the units. So let's take a walk at this property, take a look at it, and I'm really excited about it. I think it's, I think it's gonna come out really well and perform really well for the owner. All right, so here we go. Nice, gorgeous, old architecture on this building. One of the cool things that I like the most about it, and I open this up here, is this what's called a grocery walk that the servants and other things like that would have been able to use, or when there's parking out back. This is like, you know, I'm having no trouble standing up. So this is like seven foot. There's like this enclosed alleyway that comes through here and then back into, thank you Jeff, back here into the basement. And you know, one of the first things we do whenever we look at these properties is, we go right into the basement and look at the basement. Um, we've got three separate gas meters there. That's good to see separate uh, services there. One of the questions that you would have if you were the owner of this building is, are two of the units together or is one of the units like baseboard electric heat or still in an oil system or something like that. Uh, I love being able to get into these old buildings. Jeff, how long have you owned this building? Uh, two years. Two years. So one of the, Jeff, the owner here, has done a lot of work here to this place. And what's cool is, you know, when you get into these old buildings, being able to look at and see what these floor joists look like. Over here we see that we've got uh, a gas system and i just i absolutely love this jeff when we walked this building before i remembered us talking about this this right here so whenever you burn anything water vapor is produced so in a in a, in a uh, natural gas system like this you're going to combust gas and you're going to produce carbon dioxide soot and water vapor is produced whenever you burn any cellulose material um, that's, we don't have to get into the chemistry of that. But so this is a drain that you'll usually see maybe going over to like a floor drain or something like that. In this case, it goes over to a pump. But because there's stagnant water there, wherever there's stagnant water that exists anywhere in the world, it can get a little funky. Well, the company that Jeff has set up to come and do his servicing, they just left this little thing here so that they know that they've got it here. They can just clean out this little uh, J trap whenever they're here. When I see a service provider that does something like that, that is a huge indicator to me that that service provider is probably doing a hundred other things right and correct and that I like. So I just, I think that's, you know, really great and a, and a really good indicator. We see clearly uh, marked and indicated panels as far as who goes to what and what's going on. This is a forced uh, forced air system uh, down here so that when you give uh, your tenants access to this building, they have, um, you know, they each have their own storage thing and that's absolutely awesome. We could go in the front door, but since we're right here, we're gonna go up there and just take a look at the rest of this building. So that's the front door. You come into this little vestibule area and 
right in the front door off to the left hand side is the commercial space owners using this a little bit himself right now huge high you know 14 foot ceilings a lot of times you get into space like this that people want to use for commercial space and it's not done up this nice now this this Whoever rents this, whatever attorney or accountant or whatever rents this, they might want to change this color scheme, but the owner here is already has one color paint below the chair rail, different color paint on the main part of the wall, uh, really intricate uh, crown molding there that he doesn't have totally painted out completely so it's a little bit more of a modern look but does highlight the different levels there of that uh crown molding the other thing is is this bathroom has this this commercial space has its own nice commercial bath there oh there's judah hi judah um and it just it just really makes this set up and ready to go for a small attorney or accountant or something like that and, and gorgeous gorgeous hardwood floors uh, nice original tile work here that you probably can't see or isn't being picked up on this video, but that's that's really cool. Nice, clean, common area. And let's take a look at these two uh, units that we're going to be using for uh, Airbnb. Now, we've got a little bit of staging left to do, but when you do an Airbnb, a lot of people talk about, you know, can I do an Airbnb? Don't I want to do an Airbnb? This isn't a folding table and folding chairs here. This is a nice table that we would use, a nice china hutch or armoire or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you can correct me what that's actually called. Uh, there's actually dishes here, and we're going to add you know, some more dishes. So the uh, a little bit, just some light decorations uh, and that type of thing. Very important uh, when you set up an Airbnb that it's got like a, a feel to it like it can be lived in. I like that there's a nice, you know, nice big wide, almost 12 foot, 10 foot wide, you know, little place out there. You, you, you're you not gonna be able to prevent yourself from renting to smokers, but if you give the smokers some place to go smoke, uh, you, you encourage them not to be here. Here's some really cool architectural detail in this uh, hardwood floor. We saw a lot of detail when we showed uh, the front. Little bedroom right here. And then over this way. What's that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Jeff. I had even forgotten that that was there. Washer and dryer in the unit. Even if you're only going to be renting it to somebody for two or three days, you want to give them the option and give them the ability to, uh, you know, go and take care of their stuff nice modern feel to the bathroom what i think the shower really sets off this bathroom really nice and here's something that's cool you know obviously we're going to be re reworking and, and rewiring uh some of this uh stuff here a little bit but if you ever see a closet and you're like geez i can't get a replacement closet door and i don't like what's on the market for replacement closet doors and i don't want to clean up the closet doors there just remove it. It's actually a pretty modern look to remove the closet door and remove that closet door and put uh, something else, you know, just, just offset the paint. Sorry, I'm stumbling over words. I got a call coming in there. Ha. Um, exposed, um, you know, vent work, off color, adds to you know the feel nice furniture here nice big bay window downstairs in the commercial space uh the decision was made to hide the fireplace and kind of you know board it over and here we're, we're not hoping that they use it but uh it looks a little bit more of a decorative piece and as uh everybody knows uh tv is pretty much a must so this is just a great Really, really like this uh, this commercial space and or a residential space for for an Airbnb type thing, and then we also have a third. Is this locked, my friend? Yeah, I'll put it away. That oh yeah, that's right. That goes right back into duh, uh, the the unit we were just in, 
And then this is the third floor. Again, a nice bathroom that you can be proud of. If these were rentals, these would be like apartment grade level A. Not B or C, but this is like, you know, A quality stuff. We're right downtown. You've got, how many parking spaces do you have out back, Jeff? 10? 10 or 15 parking spaces out back? Uh, we talked about how in here we're still going to get another dresser and get a headboard for that. We're going to do some more uh, with the plants here. We've got some vases that we're going to get some plants, put them in there, stage those around. I'm going to show you the kitchen here of this, pro of this unit. We're going to do... Uh, is this where the washer dryer is here too? Yeah, just so great. Nice, new, not looking like it fell off a turnip truck, washer dryer. And then here we have the kitchen. Uh, nice table and chairs again. We're getting out some nice uh, glassware and things like that. And even up here, there is, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a little deck out there and overlooks ample parking in the back. Parking is one of the big, big, big things that will make or break your success in Center City Reading. Or, excuse me, any Center City. We're in Center City, York right now. I just think that window is so cool. I have to finish with one more shot of that window. I mean, we did a video recently where we talked about not a whole lot of architectural detail on the outside of the buildings. Uh, right here, this block, there's obviously a whole lot of architectural detail and that's gonna help you. So remember, when you're doing commercial units, don't lie to yourself about what part of town you're in. Don't try to be Mikey. Don't try to have the first commercial um, in, uh, unit that you have rented. Uh, that's called speculation. That's not called investing. When you're investing, you're, you're following a proven track. When you speculate, your yields can be a whole lot higher, but uh, guess what? Your uh, risk is a whole lot higher as well. I hope you're liking these videos. I hope you're finding value. Uh, you should come on out and check out our club uh, because we meet the fourth Thursday of every month and we talk about uh, real estate and real estate investing and we just have a great time swapping stories and share stuff. Uh, share this video, like this video. I hope you're enjoying it. This is Judah Hoover from the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group.